All right, we're picking up the action in the uh, race two of the Pettit Finals. This is the race for third and fourth place of the 2014 Collegiate National Championship here at the Swanica Corinthian Yacht Club. And the first race was won by BC, William Bailey and his team. Uh, and they are in boat number 11. This is a first to two, so this race is uh, obviously a must win for uh, Jake Liddell's team from St. Mary's. Right now we got one minute to go. The, uh, the right might be a little favored because there's probably more adverse current out to the left. Uh, so um, probably the boat that starts on the right will have a slight advantage here. So right now Jake in, in um, St. Mary's is pushing, so he's best set up to take the right. Uh, William seems content to take the left with about 35 seconds to go. They're below the boat lay line. So right now Jake just needs to hang out here. Um, he will not get clear air on starboard at the start and he will not be able to start on port. In fact, they're actually closer to the boat lay line than I was thinking. So um, Jake's going to have to start to windward here and then uh, tack very soon as soon as he can after the start. So we're coming down the final few seconds here with BC to Lourdes, St. Mary's to Windward. About a boat length between them and a uh, big question mark how long St. Mary's can last there. And it's really important that he tack before he loses an inch. Uh, he's got the right, which um, if he wanted the right, he's got it. All he has to do is tack and take it. He doesn't want to try and hang on and pin BC and end up losing as a result. So right now it's a game of sailing skill. This is all boat speed right now and combination of height and speed. Uh, the, there goes St. Mary's and probably we'll see uh, BC tack in the next little bit here. All right, here we are in the second race of the Petite Finals. We have a great race going on. We've got St. Mary's on the right in a must win situation and they are certainly doing that right now. BC on the left in the uh, yellow Sail, boat number 11 just tacking. They are not near the port ley line yet, so there'll be a few more attacks before they get there. Uh, but right now, William Bailey, is uh, his goal is just stay within a couple lengths and, uh, and then go to work downwind. In the first race, uh, William's team from BC uh, won the start. Uh, St. Mary's team sailed a little faster and just beat him to the first mark. William's team beat him on the jive at the uh, gate and just beat him through the gate. St. Mary's just passed him again upwind at the second windward mark, showing a little better upwind speed. And then William's team beat him to the finish. It was a great race. So right now it's setting up a little bit like that, though the boats are farther apart. But uh, so far St. Mary's is showing, uh, William, uh, BC showing a little better starting ability. And, um, Though it was a pretty close start this time, but St. Mary's definitely going faster upwind. So that's the that's been the determining factor so far on this uh, race. All right, we've got St. Mary's leading the first mark. Not quite the spinnaker set they were hoping for, but that'll come on unspun. But the important thing is they have a huge lead now over BC. Uh, in the last third of the leg, they really hit a couple nice shifts and had some great boat speed. This is a must-win race for them, so uh, they really need to do it all right here and get this uh, win and send this thing to the uh, third deciding race for third and fourth in this regatta. Uh, William Bailey brings his boat around in uh, second place. Uh, a much better spinnaker set, and you can see already he's got quite a bit of uh, soak to lured there, which is a, puts him in a very powerful position to attack on the run here. I'm noticing that it's a long port tack right now. Uh, they are, uh, it's probably about 80% port, 20% starboard. I'm also noticing that uh, St. Mary's just picked up a nice piece of pressure here that uh, BC did not get. So right now, St. Mary's is opening up their lead. Uh, William's having to bring his boat up. You can't see in the camera right now, but he's actually sailing higher and slower, trying to get up into that pressure. So. It's got to feel very good on board St. Mary's right now as they actually are lower and faster, which is a great mode 
uh, in a run, and they are just putting they're putting boat length on boat length in, into their lead here uh, to make a very secure lead going through the gate. All right, so here's St. Mary's approaching the uh, gate. Jib's going up, probably four lengths away. Uh, their crew work on all four teams in the finals and pedifinals is excellent, as you would expect at a national championship. Spinnaker's coming down. Looks like uh, Chase is going to take the left-hand mark looking downwind, which will bring him away from the adverse current and keeps the uh, starboard card in his pocket. So excellent rounding. Uh, I'd say that Williams' team from BC is probably four lengths behind. They are splitting. Jake doing a very conservative move, just tack over, stay in the same zip code. He's in control of this race. He's got the right, he's got good pressure. And in a must-win race, uh, Jake Liddell, St. Mary's, is winning big.